using the sternum okay so I'm standing neutral and then I'm making the biggest um, circle of the sternum as possible okay now if I want to circle the sternum and really have the kind of the um, the sensation of circling the sternum and not circling my whole torso I need a little bit to kind of minimize the movement in the other places so if I do something like this that I'm losing a little bit the sensation the clear sensation of the sternum so I'm keeping everything a little bit more held and I'm trying that really just this is what gives me the the, the, the sensational cue of the circle okay so I'm doing this 10 times then I'm gonna integrate this um, into the steps that build up the butterfly but already today we're gonna start already with something that gives us momentum so of course finding this and going into the butterfly kind of simple you know what's more difficult is to catch it in the right timing when we come from momentum because then the space to catch it is limited so we start to also work with a, a little bit more timing and not so much of just instructions of mechanics so in order to put it a little bit more in a dynamic um, we're gonna do this circle and then go into the variation okay so just to review we're gonna work with three variations one circle jump two circle turn three circle the full thing okay other side Now, I think that what we can do if we feel <coughs> we get comfortable, we can pivot into it like we do in the second set. So the last, if maybe second round, we can also add pivot step, then go into the variation. And of course, the other two, pivot step. variations just like in the second set with the waves we go back to 10 times just taking the circle of the sternum so you all the time make sure that you integrate this pattern you know or, or like you can think about it you you pattern this within the move so it's a different expression than kind of thinking that it's just a just a, a supplementary 